So this is the view from um, the sidewalk. Uh, you can see um, a lot of the garden uh, from this angle and we chose to plant it in this way so that not only could we have a path for ourselves to, and visitors to, to walk through to enjoy all the different flowers, we also wanted it to look well from the street. So you can, you can see there's you know, lots of, of flowers visible from this angle um, and just gives us another space to grow. Um, and so part of that project, uh, or I guess plan and design, is that we'll have clematis going up the, the fence here. Um, and they like their feet in sort of shaded conditions. So on this way, this faces south, so they'll be able to get full sun on this side, but then their feet will be, their, so their roots will be kept cool um, in the shade of all the other bedded plants we have in here. Um, and so they, they look dead all winter, but then they start waking up. So for example, you might be tempted to call that dead, uh, but then you look and it's spurting uh, new growth. And so there's one here that's gonna go up and, and spread out here. This one also um, has started to wake up. And um, you know, we planted these from um, just like roots basically that we bought. So um, they've taken a while to get established and it's really easy to, you know, when you're weeding to accidentally snap um, some of these delicate stems and then you have to sort of wait for it to grow up again. Um, but they're, they're vigorous. So once they're established, you know, they'll keep coming back. So for example, over here, this one I accidentally messed up and, and snapped it off. It had finally gotten all the way to the top and was starting to get up into the tree. And I was weeding out some a really bad weed called um, the black swallowwort. Uh, and when I'm doing that, I just feel like, you know, the, the swallowwort has to go. So if you have a casualty along the way, it's fine. It can recover. So all the top part of the, the clematis broke. Um, but you can see it's putting up a really nice vigorous shoot now. So um, it is just fine. It'll keep coming back. And we even have um, another one um, sort of right here uh, in this area. You can see he's waking up too. Um, and then uh, we're, we've got these two new ones, um, which have already, oh my goodness, started to, to climb up here. Um, rather than plant the corms and, and wait so long, or rather the roots and, and wait a long time for them to get established, um, got some additional colors. So this one is uh, called um, Elsa Spa, Spate. Um, and then the other one is a more purple kind, and it is called HF Young. So that's right there. So um, there's a, a clematis waking up uh, on this side of the fence uh, right here. So we'll have the potted one there, the one down at the end. So in a couple years, in the springtime, we should have from along the whole length of the fence uh, clematis and it's so pretty and so this is an example of one that we planted as a, a plant in a pot and it's you can see how much more vigorous it is it forms a really big stand and um, just really will make a nice big mound a beautiful flower and with the seed heads be interesting so at any rate I wanted to just point out some of the things that uh, we do with our fins uh, to try and um, create enjoyment for us and others and um, I'll, I would also just like to add that, you know, we want it to look nice uh, from the street, but also, of course, when you're in the garden and you're looking out here, this fence is, you know, a good, uh, it comes up to my chin, so it's a nice height in the back of the border. So, you know, you're looking at the shorter stuff up front and in the back you have all the clematis blooms, so it's very pretty. So at any rate, with that, I will let you go and I hope you enjoy this view of the garden and we'll see you for the next one. So just to real quick show you what I've done here. I have dug my hole in there. I've added some starter fertilizer, um, just sprinkled it in there, uh, making sure that the hole is as deep as uh, this uh, plant root ball. You see the nice healthy roots. You always want to make sure that they, the plant is you know happy and those are not root bound at all. Um, quite lovely looking, I think. Um, and so I'm going to put it in the soil and then I'm going to angle it towards the fence and I'll clip it against the fence just to give it some support. And it is going to be very happy and take off. And I'm going to go do uh, the other one down at the other end. So just uh, wanted to show you the finish, finished product here for this one. Um, you can see how I angled it uh, towards the fence so it will grow up in that general direction. Uh, I made a nice big hole, put some starter fertilizer in there. Um, I could not get this little baby trellis attached to the pot off without um, some trouble with the stems up there. So I was like, you know what, we can just leave that. It'll be just fine. In fact, it'll help mark off where it is so I don't accidentally 
kill any new shoots. Um, but yeah, pretty excited about these and uh, obviously excited to show you what they look like when they bloom. So long and have a wonderful day.